Hey guys, Big Anthony here. It is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. It's 11.34 a.m. So I ran the Dometic refrigerator here, the CFX40. I ran that all night on my battery that's under the bed there, the deep cycle battery. And that ran the refrigerator all night long and all day yesterday. And I looked at it just now on the solar controller and it was down to 30%. It's a little overcast today, so it's not getting too much power back into the uh, unit, uh, into the battery, excuse me. But it is recharging. So I took the uh, solar, I took the DC plug out of the solar, which is under the bed here, and I put it into the Goal Zero Yeti 400, which I happen to own here. I've had this for several years. Um, this is an AGM battery. This is one of the older Goal Zero units. The newer ones have the lithium batteries and uh, run a lot longer and can be recharged over and over more. The good thing about these, when I purchased them several years ago, and there's videos on my channel, I'll put links to it in the description box. Um, you could change these batteries out by unscrewing the four nuts at the top, the four bolts at the top, and I did it on the Yeti 150, the smaller one, this year and I replaced the battery in there. I purchased it on Amazon and then I took out the old one, recycled it and <clears throat> and um, put the new one in. So that's up and running again, that's in the house. Uh, my daughter is using that right now to charge their small devices and stuff. But I thought I would take this uh, Yeti 400 out, turn on the uh, DC power. So this was fully powered from my garage on AC. I took it out, put it in the van I plugged in the Dometic CFX40 refrigerator 12 volt into it, and uh, that's running right now. It's at 20. It was already at temperature, so the compressor hasn't kicked on yet. So I'm thinking right now that's only. If you look at the goal zero, it's only. Um, it's only outputting one watt. There's no input, so there's no solar going into it. Um, I have some solar panels inside for this unit. I can go out, I could go in and hook them up and, and see if we get any power going into it. Maybe I'll try that in a minute. Um, but I wanted you guys to see that you can, with the right battery, solar charger, um, battery pack, whatever people call them, um, you can run devices inside your camper van, your RV, your home, your motor home, your car, uh, your fixed, you know, small, tiny house, your campsite, your cabin, uh, wherever, um, with these batteries. And so that's why I'm upgrading. And I told you guys in yesterday's video that we were going to upgrade to a another unit. I'm not going to tell you what that is yet till it's in house. I do an unboxing on it. But the unit that I did purchase, I can, I know for a fact because I researched it and watched several videos that it could run my Dometic refrigerator for probably upwards of four, three to five days, I would guess, okay, depending on the uh, temperature. So this Goal Zero 400, I, I can, while I'm driving, I can charge this up. I have a charging cable for it. So if it's plugged in the 12 volt while I'm driving, it'll top off. And then I could switch over from the rooftop unit 100 watt panel in the deep cycle battery and then switch over to the 400 at night or the new unit that's coming in and um, and run my refrigerator through the night without draining my battery under the bed too low because you don't want to drain those below 50 percent I don't think so um, rather than drain that thing down and ruin the life of it I would switch over and run it off the uh, the Goal Zero or the similar type unit. Uh, these Goal Zeros don't have the MPPT charging uh, controllers in them. They have the older style, I think it's PWM controller, but the new unit I'm getting has the MPPT charge controller, so it should take a charge uh, quicker from solar panels more efficiently, and we'll see that when we do tests on it. So uh, there's the refrigerator. Uh, it hasn't I haven't heard the compressor kick on yet. It's probably gonna kick on in a minute. Probably as soon as I shut the video, it'll kick on. But at any rate, I will uh, come back as soon as it kicks on.
Anthony signing off. All right, guys, we're back. It's uh, 11.50 a.m. And you can see that the, if you listen, the compressor kicked on. You can hear it. And it's drawing 51 watts out of the Goal Zero Yeti 400. So you've seen the power drop, the battery drop down. And while that compressor is running, it'll drain down on the battery. And then when it stops, it should tell us where we're at as far as a charge goes. Um, so again, the Goal Zero Yeti 400, different type of battery system. I wouldn't, um, you know, recommend this for long-term use with your especially the Dometic CFX 40 refrigerator, maybe something smaller with less demand, uh, some type of cooler or something like that. But uh, this battery, uh, I would recommend a better, maybe a lithium ion battery uh, for this. But there you go. You could see the compressor on and the uh, unit running. All right, guys, I have three Boulder 15 solar panels linked together, and they're sitting on this art easel. Okay, you can see they're linked together back there. I have videos on my channel how I did that. Now, these were the original panels that Goal Zero had years ago when I purchased this unit. And so I did purchase three of them, linked them together, bought the art easel, and um, bought the extension cable. Uh, to run it to my truck, which I'm sure the longer the cable, the, you, you lose a little power. But today's a really overcast uh, day. We're not getting anything going in to the panel. I mean, to the Yeti 400 here, you can see this is the input end that goes into the Goal Zero Yeti 400. That would, if it was sunny out, you'd probably see some power going in, but it's not registering enough. The refrigerator compressor is still running. The refrigerator did go down to 18 degrees. Okay. So that's, you can see that's draining my battery down. Eventually that'll probably shut off the battery. Oh, and the compressor just stopped. So that last cycle, it's 12 o'clock. That cycle of the refrigerator turning on for the last, uh, however long that was, 15, 20 minutes, uh, drained my Yeti 400 down uh, to one bar. So there you could see why I'm not relying on this for long-term use in the van uh, for the, for the um, Dometic CFX 40 refrigerator. There may have been some other issues with this. Maybe the amps were too high pulling on this or maybe I need to replace the battery on the 400 it just might be time to replace it and so I'll look into that but again I'm not getting any solar at all so um, that's a bummer so just wanted to show you guys uh, how a setup works like this and um, when we get the new unit in we'll do another test and uh, bring you guys back and show it to you okay questions comments please feel free Anthony signing off